Welcome to the Plaza in downtown Las Vegas. First of all, I just wanna say a huge thank you to Lisa here at the Plaza for being so amazing and accommodating and hooking us up. Back in like December, we had booked here at the Plaza after seeing an Instagram post of the awesome mural on the pool. We were like, we have to go check out wherever that is. Since then, we got in contact with the Plaza and they have upgraded us to one of their newly renovated deluxe rooms. There are only four floors currently that are renovated like these and they're really great. So I'm gonna show you guys that. So this room is actually a really good size. It's really big. The first thing I noticed is some really incredible art. Obviously I've decided that that one's Emily and that one's me. Um, you can be right here if you guys want. Really nice little lounge chairs here. Another thing I noticed immediately is that you actually have like a hardwood floor or like a parquet and I love that in hotel rooms because it's just so much more clean to me. You got a nice big bed here, two side tables. Like everything feels brand spanking new in here. Epic mirror, big TV here, closet. Another thing I noticed right away when I walked into this room is that they give you a fridge and there's little waters in here for you, which you never see anywhere. So I love that little touch. And for those of you who like to work in your room like us, we have this gorgeous desk. I mean, this is what I mean. This chair looks like it's brand new. Free coffee in your room in Las Vegas. I'm just saying. And then you're gonna make your way into the bathroom. Safe is over here, huge vanity. You have your toilet here and then a walk-in shower. So that is our room and we are gonna go downstairs right now and meet a tour guide and take a full tour of the plaza. So let's go see what they got. Feel. Absolutely. Absolutely. So what kind of shows do you guys do here normally? Typically we do comedy. I dig the shirt. Oh yeah. One of the reasons we wanted to come was his deep love for Back to the Future. So for those of you who don't know, the plaza is actually featured in the film Back to the Future 2. You can see it as Biff's Pleasure Paradise and it is actually the front of the hotel that they're filming. I just want to say one thing. God bless America. Back to the future. Yo, all I need is just a snippet of the orchestra. And now we rocking levers and my team is dipping Porsches. On our tour, we also learned that the Plaza Hotel has a huge bingo hall and that they are the only hotel on Fremont Street to host bingo. Apparently, this hall normally holds like up to a thousand people and they've even shown Super Bowl parties here. All right, we just got back from an awesome tour. Thank you so much to Gary. You were so friendly, so helpful. Now it is time to get ready and go down to the pool. Let's go. All right, we made it down to the Plaza pool. They were nice enough to comp us a cabana and it's awesome because you have like a little fridge and some waters and your pool chairs, everything you have is in one spot. There's also a TV in there. The Plaza Pool is open year round. It's on the fifth floor and uh, it's got a really incredible view. So we are up on the pool deck and actually there's a really incredible view up here. You can see the dome over Fremont Street. You can see Circa, and it's a really massive deck if you want to sunbathe. They also have pickleball courts, and apparently they throw the Las Vegas pickleball tournament. I used to play pickleball in high school, and I was incredibly bad at it. Okay, finished at the pool. It's about four o'clock. We decided to stop down on Fremont real quick and grab a few things, and it's already nuts. Did I mention it's St. Patrick's Day? So happy St. Patty's Day to you. Okay, we got our much needed supplies. 
Now I think we're gonna go downstairs and gamble for a little while before we go to dinner. Make sure you get your Plaza Rewards card if you're gonna come over here and gamble. So the incredible people at the Plaza have offered to comp us a meal here at Oscar's Steakhouse. So far, we arrived and the vibe is gorgeous. It's just like that old town classic, swanky Vegas. I'm having a Goodman's Legacy, which is sparkling wine in St. Germain, and I am so excited for food. We have started with some apps, so we're gonna have crab cakes, which are supposed to be a specialty, and the calamari, because it's Mr. Ruby's favorite. It looks so good. Ooh, it's got really, really good flavor. It's like really fresh. Oh, it's really good. So we got our mains. We both got the filet. I decided to get mine Oscar style, which has a Bernays sauce that has crab and asparagus. It looks insane. We also got some of these Brussels sprouts that have truffle and Parmesan cheese and the mashed potatoes. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. I'm going in. Oh, it's so rich. Did you try one of those yet? These? No, they look amazing. Mmm. That is illegal. It's illegal. Okay, we finished our meal at Oscars. I can't believe how incredibly good it was. I want to thank the Plaza for comping us such a wonderful meal. I highly, highly recommend you get a reservation and come here. The atmosphere is like old Vegas and the food is top notch. I'm just blown away. I have nothing more to say about it, to be honest. Our server, Joyce, was the most wonderful server ever. So a huge thank you to her. The manager checked on us several times. Everything was just excellent. And honestly, I don't care where you're trying to eat on this trip. You need to come and eat here at Oscars on Fremont. <clears throat> okay, dinner was absolutely incredible, but it's getting dark and now I am feeling lucky. That's better, let's go. Well, good morning, everyone. Last night was really fun, and we just got up and made some coffee, and now I think it's time to head to the donut bar. We got blueberry, and we have s'mores. Oh this God. one right here? Yep, those are the blueberry famous ones. This is, yeah. Mmm. Let me talk about my final thoughts about the plaza. Firstly, this room is awesome. The newly renovated rooms feel brand new, they're fresh, they're super clean, and it still manages to keep kind of that old Vegas feeling, which I love, which is basically how you could describe the entire plaza. You have old school Vegas, but brand new and clean and renovated and fresh, it's just awesome. This hotel kind of makes me feel like this is probably how my parents and people in the 80s and the 90s felt when they would come to Vegas. Location-wise, it's great. You are on downtown Fremont. You're literally like right next to the Fremont Street Experience without actually being on the Fremont Street Experience, which means that it's a little bit quieter in here in the morning especially, which is really nice. Food, 
tons of great options for you, especially cheap options like $4.50 for a slice of pizza, McDonald's, and Subway. But you also have the incredible Oscars Steakhouse here, which we can't say enough good things about. The casino here is actually epic. Games that I've never seen on the Strip are in this casino. They also have that really awesome Brian Christopher Slots area. Just amazing overall. So basically, I can't give you a good enough review of how great this place is. I think if you come to Vegas a lot and you've never stayed on Fremont, you need to come stay at the Plaza. I just think it's fabulous. I will absolutely be back. I wanna thank everybody here for the amazing service. You guys were great. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you all in my next one. Bye-bye. We should have just got married here.